Hello and welcome to another video. In today's video, what we will be doing is using a normal map to create hard surfaces. So as you can see what, uh, what these two cubes over here, this is like a little sci-fi crate that I created. They are identical in geometry and in smoothing. The only difference is, is the one has a normal map applied to its material and the other one doesn't. So if I actually apply the original material to it, you'll see that they both are identical. And if I put the one that's got a normal map, you'll see that there we go. It's got the hard surfaces with the nice smooth corners and the nice smooth top and everything looks like a proper hard surface model. Now I will be sharing this model in a uh, link in the description below. I will be sharing both the blend files and um, the FBX export along with the normal map that I baked for it. So if you just want to actually use this yourself or uh, follow along with the tutorial, you can because we're not going to create anything in this tutorial. We're just going to show you how to bake the normal map. So uh, check the link in the description below and you can download it and then just open it and then uh, we'll take it from there. All right, so here is the cube that I created. This is the low polygon version, which I already uh, like made. I used the, the same method as what I did in the previous video uh, where we made the basic cube where I just created like one side and then I copied it all around. But then I also created a top side and a bottom side and I made the UVs overlap when I did the unwrapping, just to show you here. So this is already like a normal map I tested out. Um, so you can see that all the sides overlap if I select this side and or if I select the bottom one you'll see that there we go there they are they do overlap and these ones obviously overlap with one another over here so it is a cube of six different sides with the UVs that are just repeated uh, for these ones which are the sides here four times and then the top one here top and bottom that's two times so Overlapping UVs isn't normally like a very good thing, um, but I find that it all really depends on your project that you're working on. So um, it really just depends on you yourself and whether or not it will work. If it will work in your game, then fine, let's that's, um, use it. But if you're going to like try and sell a model, um, I did make like a second one over here. Let's just like see, same cube, but Okay, these are still bad UV maps, but you can see that's a little bit more because they like um, connected to one another. It's a little bit better, uh, but still need some cleanup work, a lot of cleanup work actually. Uh, but this is a little bit more of what you would expect UV maps to look like um, if you're going to sell it as a product. So uh, let's just get back to the main purpose of this tutorial. So I just want to show. I created a high polygon model or uh, actually it's in two pieces you can see like there are like the detail pieces and here is the main part of the model now the colors are for um, texture masking which I will cover in a later tutorial but essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the detail here and then bake it onto my cube over here now at the current moment this cube is um, flat shaded actually if you smooth shade it with an angle, or if you just normal smooth shade it, you'll see that's what it looks like. Now, when you bake a normal map from like a flat shaded surface onto a smooth shaded surface, it will try and calculate the, the smooth and flat shading in the, the 3D program that you're using. So just to demonstrate that quickly, so I'm just going to create a new image here, uh, 2048 by 2048. I'm going to call this, um, just a normal map, click OK. So this is now the new normal map or the new um, texture that I'm going to use to bake a normal map. So you see that I do have these two on different layers and this is divided up into two pieces. So uh, when I want to bake a normal map, um, you would first have to select your high polygon model and then select your low polygon model. In order for us to do that, I just have to shift click here at the bottom so that both layers become active. But before I do that, I'm just going to select the first layer where my high polygon models are. I'm going to select both pieces. So just selecting that piece and then holding shift and selecting that piece. And you can see here at the top right that they're both selected. Then shift clicking here, 
and then still holding shift right click so that my low polygon model is selected I'm gonna go over to my renders tab and in the selected to active option I made the margins only four pixels and the bias I increased a little bit with the outside details here uh, being a little bit above what the actual cube is, um, I decided that, okay, I'm going to need a little bit more detail there. Otherwise, it just like bakes flat shaded. So if you click bake, and there we are, there is our normal map. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to uh, just go back to this one. So I'm now going to show you the difference here. So I'm going to save this as a normal map. Let's call it the sci-fi crate normal map. Enter. And then here I'm going to leave it as smooth shaded as it is. I'm going to hit file, export FBX, uh, selected objects, geometries, smoothie group on edge. And then I'm going to call this uh, sci-fi uh, smooth export and then I'm going to switch this back um, in the data tab over here I'm going to switch back auto smooth so it looks like hard surfaces over here and then I'm going to export that as well and just call it auto smooth export okay so jumping over to Unreal now this is the metal texture that we created or metal material that we created before. And here are our two cubes that we created in the previous videos. So um, this is just the basics. If you don't know how to create this material, you can just like um, watch one of the previous videos. I just used a vector parameter to for the color and then, the, then two constants to just add values into there. So I'm, now let's close that off. I'm going to hit File, Import, and those options. Import them. I'm not going to change anything over there. Now always remember, your normal map is an OpenGL normal map. So you have to double click on the texture, type in Flip, and then just flip the green channel. And there we go. Now I'm going to like drag in the smoothed version. As you can obviously see, if we open these two, let's open them like that. And if you swap between them, you can see there's like a, a definite shading difference between the two of them. So I'm going to just open this and drag both of them into the world. So I should be a little closer here. And now you can like definitely see the difference between them, rows, uh, sharp edges, and so on. If I just apply the normal material like immediately, you'll like see the difference. Now this is not using the normal map yet, so you can like see the smooth shading, the normal smooth shading one, which was uh, this one inside a blender. That actually just looks terrible. Um, uh, it's not really going to be usable or in any way and you don't like it. This one looks a little bit better, but now we're just going to like get into the purpose of this tutorial. I'm just going to duplicate these and then I'm going to go and duplicate the material so that we can just get a different one and open it and put in the normal map and hook it up to the normal material. Let's save. All right, and now I'm going to take this material and I'm going to apply it. And now you'll see that the flat shaded cube, which looks like this with like a no, no texture material, kind of comes out looking like the original smooth shaded one. So now just taking into account, this is the smooth shaded um, cube. This is this, this one over here, the one that actually looks kind of terrible if you apply a normal material to it. So just quickly for the difference, I'm going to drag in the first material. See, that looks terrible. Drag in the second one. There we go. We have all our smooth edges. Everything looks actually kind of good. And yeah. 
So that is basically how you just use a normal map to like give your 3D model um, flat shaded uh, geometry or flat a flat shaded look, um, even though it it's like completely smooth, even though it looks completely horrible in your 3D or in your 3D program, or if you just import it directly. Once you apply that uh, material with the normal map, it will go from looking like that, this one over here, to that. All right, so I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, this is just like a quick overview of what a normal map does for your game model. In the next video, I'm going to cover texture masking. So be sure to tune in for that one because um, that's rather interesting because then we can like apply different types of textures or um, colors to every single part of the model as we um, use the different red, green and blue channels. All right. So with that said, I thank you all very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave a leave a comment leave a like if you don't like it you can leave a dislike and support me on patreon uh, what i will be doing is just releasing more and more models and um, i would appreciate it if anyone could just like uh, if if you think that this work is worth a dollar please support me on patreon um, i will be releasing more and more models and more things will be coming for free so um, stay tuned the, the more videos i upload or the more support i get the more I can do this. So I thank everyone that has been watching and I will see all of you in the next video. Bye bye.